something about the way you stay tonight. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to get serious. Taking it away, I'm just a fool for the next day. All I wanna hear is the never times that we play. Sitting next to you. another video listen elephant in the room I cut off my hair I cut off my hair and yes um I cut quite a bit of it off now here hear me out hear me out because to be honest there wasn't much to cut off in the first place I looked like I had length like y'all for the past few years my hair has just been breaking off thinning really bad and it's just it was just going to complete chaos okay my hair was just destroyed and I have no clue why but the thing is, even though I knew my hair was getting really, really bad, I was holding on to the little straggly ends that I had because I just didn't want to deal with the little afro anymore. It's been so long since I've had my little eensy beensy afro and it's not even that small. Trust me when I say I've actually buzz cut my hair before. So my hair's been shorter. My hair's been shorter, but it's been a while since I've have my hair this short and the thing is i was just struggling letting go even though i should have been letting go i'm gonna insert a video and i'm gonna show y'all what it looked like you probably saw it in the last video if you watched the last video which you should by the way but i kid you not what was that oh i'm waiting for some stuff to come in but anyway i kid you not like it was just nothing there like my hair was lit you can see straight through the ends of my hair and i'm like yeah it's time and i'm looking in the mirror and i'm looking and i'm looking and i'm looking and i'm like there's nothing i can do with this right now i'm gonna chop it up to stress not really taking care of my hair drinking my water taking my vitamins doing the things that i was supposed to do and this is the consequences of my actions let's put it this way but i'm gonna be completely honest and tell y'all it's something so crazy about when i cut my hair because i kid you not as i was sitting there with this boneless afro that i had last night and i'm looking at it and i was just so irritated i was just so pent up i was just so sad y'all don't even understand like i don't understand why i felt so bad about this i think i had one side cut and i was already looking at it like oh my god this is so good okay this is really really good like the more i cut off those dead ends the better i felt and by the end of the night like i was up it's like one o'clock in the morning and i'm like playing in my afro i'm putting in like my products and stuff like that and i'm just looking at it and i'm just like i should have been done this i should have been done this i don't know why i waited so yes that is 
me cutting my hair so yes i cut my hair off and i absolutely love it i really do love it i mean it's not cur this it's it's not styled or anything like that it's just out and about because i'm getting ready to do my hair but that gives me the perfect segue into telling you guys what this video is going to be about and this video is going to be a maintenance day vlog i'm pretty sure you guys already can tell by the title of this video but today i'm doing a lot of maintenance diy style at home y'all already know how i get down when it comes to my diy and maintenance stuff i don't go to the nail salon nothing against it i just like saving money as of right now so i do my nails and stuff at home i do my my waxes my shades my my facials everything i have to do when it comes to maintenance wise i do that at home and i'm adding my hair to the rasta I went to the beauty supply, I bought some hair, and I want to try to do a little, a little bob. We are gonna see a little quick weave, a little quick weave, a little bob. I got some yakky hair, so I don't have to put too much heat on my hair. But I did want to do a nice little sleek look for the next few weeks. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Now here's the thing, I have not done this before. The, I feel like the first time I done it was like quite some time ago, and it was an epic fail. This time around, we gonna see how this goes. I feel like I watched enough videos on YouTube where I might be able to get it down enough where it looks like something, but we gonna see. But that's enough rambling, that's enough of all this talking. I'm about to go ahead and get into it because there's a bunch of other stuff that I need to do today. Hopefully everything comes in from Amazon today so I can just get everything done because tomorrow we gotta hit the road and we gotta drive 15 hours to go pick up our son from Iowa. So it's a lot going on right now. It's a lot going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all. Let's go ahead and get to it. Now listen, daughter. Pay attention, pray and listen. Hear your father. These lies they told are so familiar. They will haunt you. They will kill you. Keep you hostage. King will heal you. Before him, adore him. He will give you everything. Come and take your Can't when keep going, going back to what I used to know. But please hold my hand as I go down this road. Keep going back to what I used to know. All right, y'all. So what's coming along? It's coming along. I won't lie. This was uh, this is more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. I'm doing a better job than I thought I was gonna do. I have half my head braided over here, and when I say these are the sloppiest braids, can you see that? These are the sloppiest braids. They're probably not even braids at this point. They're like jumbled up, twisted mess, but I'm trying to make them as neat as possible. I'm trying to make them as neat as possible because I don't want my hair completely tangled and untake downable once the time comes to take them down. I ended up having some leave out here, some leave out here, and I left a little bit out in the back, but I did get some yakky, kinky, like textured kind of um, hair to match as closely as possible to my natural hair um, because I don't want to put heat, a crazy amount of heat on my hair. That's how we're going to continue. That's how we're going to carry on. Just not really using a lot of heat, avoiding heat completely if possible. We're not even halfway there, but we're halfway done with the braiding down part. And then I do have that protective shield. I took a break. I had to go make me a coffee. It's honestly too sweet. And that's crazy because if I'm saying it's too sweet, it's too sweet. I didn't realize the coffee concentrate that I was using. I found it at Ross. But it's cinnamon dolce. Dolce, dolce, however you say it. But it's really good. I just shouldn't have added as much creamer. I added some more syrup. Uh, my gingerbread syrup, some vanilla syrup, and then my creamer. I shouldn't have added the syrups. But it's fine. I probably won't even drink all of that. Um, it's so thick. You know what? I'll probably have to dilute it a little bit. Because I shouldn't have to chase coffee with water. But back to my hair. Hey 
Hey y'all, what's up? Y'all, I'm downstairs. I have to take a little break. I'm looking crazy right now because I have to wait for the shield to, yeah, to dry. Look, y'all, how is it that she know more about the hair process than I do? I come downstairs, she's like, oh, you about to do your hair? Oh, is that the wig cap? Oh, you gotta let that dry? Oh, you gotta look like, girl. Only pastas. She down here watching Moana. She down here watching Moana and playing with Yusuke while I'm upstairs periodically checking on her but yeah i gotta wait for this to dry and i think what i'm about to do is i'm about to use mia's hair dryer because she have like the little hold on y'all i'm trying to get my life together um y'all so far away hold on get over here i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use mia's hair dryer she has this little blow hair dryer thing where you actually put it over your hair it's a hood a hood dryer y'all see it when i show y'all but in the meantime, I still have a mess that I made in the kitchen when I was making breakfast. I already wiped down the cabinets and stuff like that, but I do have to unload the dishwasher and load the dishwasher. So I'm about to go ahead and do that so it can look a little bit more presentable and comfortable and clean in here. And then while I'm sitting under the dryer, I think I'm gonna start prepping my nails because I'm gonna be doing my um, nails today as well. Cause I already showed y'all these, but them things, tragic he's a tragedy so we're gonna go ahead and prep those so once i'm done with my hair i can just go and jump right into doing my nails and then the last thing i wanted to do was my eyebrows and lashes but hopefully that stuff comes in from amazon in time but we'll cross that bridge when we get there because i i didn't get a delivery notification yet so we're gonna see So we back upstairs and I'm in front of my nail cart. This is my little makeshift nail cart. You guys saw this before. I have the press-ons here, just a bunch of different colors. And I've had these for so long. Like these are lasting me so long. I have still quite a few left, but these have been lasting me so long. I also use these little, um, these tips for my toes. So I have those. And there was another, oh, I don't see them in here right now, but there was more tips that I have, but they're just clear and like oval shapes. Are they in? I have all of these tips as well. They're clear and oval shapes. Ooh, I don't really use these. The only time I use these is when I want to actually use color polish. And even then, sometimes I use just the regular press ones that I have and I'll just paint over those. But yeah, I have those. Um, uh, my electric drill here which i'm gonna have to use that so let me go ahead and take that down now um i have my filers i have my polish i just did mia's nails not too long ago mia let me see your nails i put these little things on her nails let me see your nails this is how i ended up doing her nails she wanted blue and pink so we got blue with a little what is that grapefruit probably and then pink on this hand with a little flower with her toes to match <laughs> so she did her nails go ahead go downstairs she about to go finish watching moana um i have my little acetones little toe divider things here buffers my karen lights i have two flash karen lights so yeah, got a lot going on here. I got a lot going on and I definitely want to add to what I have here, especially now that I am no longer in the military, I can have my nails a little more fun than usual. So I'll be wanting to add a few extra variations of press ones and maybe even a little longer, who knows, but yeah. So I'm about to go ahead and start that. As far as drying my hair, this is the hair dryer. And you just have this little bonnet part here. It has a hose on it. Finally got an extension cord. So that's going to come in handy because I'll be having to plug in multiple things at one time. So let's get my life in order for a second. I have this little bin because I don't have a table to do my nails on yet. So I have this little bin that we have all our medications in. And I just do my nails on top of this set. This goes on your head like so.
you have the warm setting and hot, but I'm gonna keep it on warm. And then over here you have high and low. But I think I'm gonna do it on high while I am drying my hair. And then yeah, so I'm just gonna sit here prepping my nails and dry my freaking caps. Who do I think I am? Like seriously. <laughs> so long and it's like three o'clock it's 3 30 it's past 3 30 in the afternoon and i am still doing all this i ended up giving myself a little manicure i was irritated because i kind of nicked my cuticles on these two fingers but it's fine it's still a neat like uh, manicure that was done i also gave myself a pedicure so all of that stuff is done i literally just have to finish my hair go throw on my nails and apply my paint i'm still waiting for amazon to drop off a few packages let me double check and make sure they still coming look at me it says your package is 10 stops away let's go because i need that looking like everything that i need for today is going to be coming by the end of today okay so we should be good we should be good to go so i'm about to go ahead and start applying my hair and we i'm just i'm just hoping it turns out right y'all i'm hoping it turns out right because i really don't know what it's supposed to i don't know what i'm doing low-key this is the hair that i ended up buying from the beauty supply store it is this brazilian yaki remy hair iron textured in a 1b the color 1b is 10 inch um let me see the bundle starts about here so let's say it's about here but i'm honestly wanting to cut it into a little bob but yes i got this and it's a quick weave so i also got some bonding glue let's go ahead and see what i can make happen with this i'm hoping everything turns out right so far so good but who knows like this we gonna see So I finished my hair for the most part and I am actually really proud of myself. I won't lie. It turned out okay. I feel like next time I do it, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to make it as thick because I felt like it was a little thick. Once I got towards the top, I kind of peeped it and I ended up kind of separating the tracks a little bit more at the top. So that saved you a little bit. I ended up cutting it into a bob. Let me, let me just tell y'all the stuff I did off off camera because i started getting a little frustrated i won't lie so as i was putting the tracks in i was getting towards the top i couldn't see anything so that was frustrating my hair wasn't blending for some reason like my hair wasn't trying to like get flat with a flat iron because i was 
flattening my hair like on low so unfortunately i had to put hotter heat on my hair than i wanted to but hopefully it's hopefully it's fine i was frustrated because now i'm trying to figure out like why my hair was sitting so stiff and it was because i had too much products in my hair from last night when i moisturized and stuff so then i had to wipe a majority of that out y'all i ended up having to use this dry shampoo <laughs> to um kind of dry it down if that makes any sense um and then everything turned out cool after that then the next thing was trying to actually cut it into the bob and i wanted a blunt cut bob but yeah i'm just not my face isn't a blunt cut type of face so i'm like all right let me go ahead and throw some curls in it because i ended up curling a few pieces over here just to test it out and i thought it, it was mm, cute i'm gonna leave these in until tomorrow because tomorrow we're supposed to be hopping on the road to head to Iowa to get dairy on. I'm not sure what time but I know we want to be hopping on the road tomorrow. Um, I'll take these out then and I'll see what they look like then. Fingers crossed that they that they look right because I need my hair to look right. Um, but other than that everything else after that turned out perfectly fine. My hair was blending, my edges was blending, everything. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. The hair was even getting even softer as I was flat ironing it because at first it was like a little blunt and I had to like finesse it a lot but it's fine now. So what I'm about to do next these eyelashes. Yo my eyelashes came and let me show y'all real quick. First of all it's hot. Let me apply some deodorant. Mm. and i'm eating some cherries because i'm hungry still haven't eaten anything i didn't cook so i think after i'm done with everything i'm gonna run to applebee's and grab us some food from applebee's anyway so these are the um lashes that i ended up getting from amazon and they are dark brown lashes i hear my husband come to bother me that's crazy. What? <laughs> what? You want me to get beat up? You want me to get beat up? I'm about to drop your feet off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dang, I should have, um, no, I'll get it later. What? No, I was, I was going to get us some Applebee's, but I should have ordered it. Oh, dang, dang, dang. Yeah. Maybe order it. Well, I don't know what to make. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> it's fine. I'll go get it. I haven't been outside today. But these are the lashes and they are gorgeous. Oh my God, look at those things. I hope this camera, I hope you can actually see it because these things look so good. Hold on, let me see if y'all can see the fluff. Look how fluffy they look. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And they are, like I said, dark brown. They're chocolate brown. I wanted brown lashes. I want my lashes done, but I, I didn't like the way I would see them on my face. And then I started to realize they're just too dark. I want them natural. And even when they do natural, they still look a little too, they're too much for me. So I figure, let me go ahead and go brown. I saw somebody on Instagram on the reel saying that getting brown lashes makes them look even more natural you can get them longer and they'll still look natural so that's the reason why i wanted the brown lashes so i'm super excited to go ahead and put these on and try them i haven't done my lashes in a long time no i ain't gonna lie come in that's my girl child <laughs> hey boo you wanna say hi to the vlog I'm say hi hi <laughs> but um i was about to say yeah i'm about to go ahead and apply these and i'm trying to see why do these all look i don't know for some reason they all look the same no they're not okay so the shorter ones are over here and the longer ones are over here let it fall we want it all your fire is consuming. Fill this place and set it ablaze. I'll be a living sacrifice for you. You're the fire. You're the fire. Take with it.
So I'm back to let y'all know that this DIY maintenance day, yeah, first of all, first of all, it was a fail. Let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. It was a complete fail. I feel like everything that could go wrong was going wrong and it was driving me absolutely insane. But on top of the fact, I started that maintenance day yesterday at about noon about noon y'all i didn't finish doing the things that i needed to do until like past it was almost 12 o'clock in the morning it was all day like all day all day i was just so irritated with the whole process i'm like just throw the whole process away so starting with my hair so i don't know y'all can probably see y'all probably some of y'all probably looking at it like oh it looks good it looks cute yes but i didn't I didn't want it to be this thick. I didn't want it to be this thick. If it was gonna be this thick, I should have maybe had left it a little bit longer. On top of the fact, like it is not laying flat. It's not laying flat. Now all of a sudden my hair isn't blending with the Brazilian Yaki like it was yesterday. So I'm just looking at it like, I don't like it. Second, my lashes. Y'all, first of all, listen, listen. My lashes, let's back up. I wanted brown lashes because I wanted them to look a little bit more natural. I didn't want them really dark. I feel like that's something that I had to explain, but the lashes that I got on the pictures on Amazon, they look darker than when I got them. They were way lighter. And then, I mean, are they right here? It's like, once you, I was, it was something weird about the lashes. I was trying to figure it out and I realized I accidentally ordered a D curl and not the C or J curl that I like. So I was wondering why they were like going up so much and I'm like, I don't like that. I never like that look. Even when I go and get my lashes done, I never like them. So that's that. So the tips though, like the tips, I don't know if you can see that. The tips is like, a honey brown or something like that like i'm telling you these things are way brighter like they're way lighter than the photos and the tips get even lighter and so i'm sitting there and it just looked like you got something ashy or something dusty on your lashes and i just couldn't get over that on top of the fact the glue never dried y'all i woke up and one of the freaking lashes had already fell off one of the little clusters had already fell off and then i went to try to fix it and another one was like dangling off and i'm like i'm pretty sure these aren't on y'all all i had to do was do this and it just started coming off so that was it so now i had to go ahead and just put some mascara on my natural lashes i have lashes don't get me wrong and like they're not the shortest lashes either they're just very very fine very very thin just like all the rest of the hair on my body besides my pubes every other hair on my body except that area is very fine um on to my nails now i feel like my toes turned out really really good i didn't have m many issues with my toes outside of the usual um not really knowing how to paint flooding my cuticle area the sides of my like the the sides of the neck like i just don't know how to paint i'm learning i don't know how to paint my toes like polish now for my nails y'all saw in the little clips that i put in that i had prepped some nails and i sat them to the side they were gorgeous they were beautiful i was so excited to put those nails on but when i started Started putting them on y'all my flash curing light wasn't acting the way it was supposed to be acting it wasn't acting the way it was supposed to be acting so it ended up dying it died repeatedly so I had to take my big light that you put your hand or feet under or whatever hold that up and like kind of try to like finesse it where I can still like hold it and flash cure my nail yeah that wasn't working because i at first i thought it was i thought it was and i made it i had this hand on completely i made it halfway through this hand before i realized the nails on this hand is popping off so that means i had to take off all of the nails prep my nails all over again i fixed my cuticles clean everything up all over again and then i ended up just taking the clear um 
what was it the, it was the clear press ones that i showed you guys earlier i ended up showing y'all in an earlier clip when i was showing you guys the little cart but i had to take that and i put those on and this is how they turned out um again i really need to learn how to paint my nails but i'm gonna be honest this turned out better than any other job that i've done so far um, this this is good like this for me this look good so I really really like them I love the shape I like them um, I'm kind of this was I, I won't lie this was kind of a happy accident because when I finally finished everything and how good they ended up turning out I just love them so much I'm just waiting for some of this extra polish and glue to fall off my skin and cuticles but other than that I really like them they actually was turned they turned out better than how the the other set was turning out so I love them and they are on there they're not going nowhere that's one thing about these they flash cure and they cure really well because obviously it's a clear see-through press on and so the light can just hit it and dry it right up so i really love that the white on toes white on fingers i loved it but yeah we gonna it's just mm -mm. i didn't even bother plucking my eyebrows i was gonna pluck my eyebrows as well but y'all know i had micro shading on my lashes and i'm lashes on my brow and I'm actually in the process of finding someone to remove it because I just I don't like it anymore <laughs> yeah it's like misshapen and it's just thicker than I want it to be it's just it's just a mess so yeah this maintenance day was a complete fail complete fail I don't know how long I'm leaving this here up we're actually about to go ahead and head out as soon as I'm done recording this we're about to go ahead and head out hop on the road so we can drive 15 plus hours to Iowa to pick up our son. We're picking up Darion. For those of you who've been here, you know who Darion is, but we're going to pick up Darion um, and then have a little road trip. Like we're going to be stopping off in more places on the way back. So yeah, it's not like I even have time to like take this out, fix myself, start over. So we just want to see. I just wanted to look better than this, but anyway, that's fine it is what it is i still wanted to come on and show you guys the, the the madness the failure that turned out to be a maintenance day but that's it that's all that's all i have for this video i'm gonna see you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe i have a goal to hit 10k by the end of the year and i think with you guys let's hope i can make that happen so go ahead like comment subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one bye